Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Ramuva, Ramuvan Raiders in Crusader Kings 2. So, our goal at this point now is to stabilize the realm and begin mass raiding, like, like really crazy powerful raids so that we can upgrade everything in the entire empire. And uh, I remember this one time, that Catholic dude sent his bishop at me and so we're going to destroy the Catholic faith. Um, that's basically what I want to do. I just want to win, like, lots of wars. Actually, wars don't really make sense because they've got to be over land. I guess we could do a tributary war. Let's go make him a tributary. Yeah. Kaiser Gerhard the Just of the Holy Roman Empire only has 700 troops. Tributary! Declare war. Um, we cannot declare war if we have raised levies. I knew that. Right. Okay, we're burning down a bishopric, then we're going to declare war. Totally. It's going to be great. We also want to move our capital. And, uh, yeah. I just want to upgrade all the things. Let's get out of there. You have a new heir. King Gerdautas. And once again, he's not going to show up. Um, not that's not him. Uh, we are Clacus. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of how we can't choose the same heir. Alright, let's just not worry about it. Bad things don't happen when you're only 46. It's not possible. So we're going to stand down these guys, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this guy into tributary. It'll solve a bunch of our problems. Number one, we can totally get some opinion with our vassals. Number two, it's not technically a holy war, so we can't call in all the Catholics. However, it's not actually going to erode the moral authority of the Catholic Church very much. What we want to do is get the Catholic authority down. I think the way we do that is just pretty much... If we're not going to Holy War... Holy Wars are good, right? Um, like, when we look at our religious unity... Um, diplomacy of the High Priest, Piety of the High Priest, Infidel Temples Looted gives us piety, Building Temples helps. Holy Wars is definitely a big thing. But um, we don't want to do that, because we don't want to blob. Blobbing's boring. We've done that far too many times. Um, let's go ahead and... These are kinsmen, sure. You can be a you can be that way, it's fine. Our vassals appear to be doing lots of things. What's this all about? We got a Polish revolt. Dude, you're not gonna do so well. That's that's a lot of guys that you're trying to fight. Okay, we gotta unraid our heavy infantry. And you don't appear to own any direct territory. Of course not. Yes, you do. It's just it's just that one county. Okay. Well, by all means, let's go. And that is the Holy Roman Revolt, which we don't want to mess with. We just want to uh, win the tribute war against the Kaiser. Supply is only 9,000, which we're going to exceed. So let's only send half of it over. That means we can drop these guys off here. It also means, why don't we make you guys raiders... We'll park them on the adjacent province. It'd be nice if we had bonus technology right now. It's kind of a shame that, you know, I never played this character, and yet I don't get to change the capital. Because he had apparently already done it. I remember we declared a tribute war against a very small guy, and he just basically instantly surrendered. I wonder if this guy's going to do the same. He's up to 3,000 troops now. Army of Bavaria. That is directly beneath him, so that will give us war score. Let's go fight him. 27th, 22nd. Let's scare him from running and then go chase him before he has uh, any morale. You can always catch him. Pretty easy. And we have another Clacus man. Clacus man! Let's go with a uh, 17-year-old courtier. Sure. Make babies. Extend the dynasty. What are we up to? Come on, game. Holy crap, autosave. Thank you. 46 living members. It's not bad. These battles feel, like, not important anymore. Why did we not get war score for that? Are you actually at war with Bavaria? No, you're not. I feel like we should have gotten war score for that. Fine, let's just go back to sieging, I guess. 
Oh, that's right. You know what? Because he's not actually listed as being over here. He did call in his ally, West Francia. So, he could potentially bring in some troops. 4,000. Yeah, we'll fight. We'll face some opposition in this war. It's going to be fun. Raiders have arrived to raid us. No, that is something that we do to others, not them to us. Let's go through and get some more castle walls, castle towns, castle fortifications. Spend all the money. I want to start with castle walls. Keep things nice and well defended. Our new wife is now pregnant. Yay! This one's bound to be better. We haven't really had a very successful eugenics program in this campaign or the previous one. We should be drawing some loot. Yep, unit is currently looting 1.73 ducats every four days. It's pretty good. There we go. That army will definitely be worth war score. So as soon as we're done burning down the rest of these buildings, we will go and engage it. Meanwhile, the Holy Roman Revolt is doing pretty well. I like how we're actually able to make money, um, even though we have our levy raised. That is a great change from being a tribe. Oh, hey, look, it's 10,000 troops. I guess we're done raiding that. We can arrive fairly soon. We're the defenders, so we don't have to worry about the river crossing. 10,000 on 10, uh, 11,000, apparently. Okay, we are on the right. We are actually getting some advantage from our uh, narrow flank. It's kind of cool. Charging, we're in melee. And we've done force back. Left flank is gone. Right flank, and nice. Oh, that's so good. Look at that. Narrow flank, and that means that he can only use 2,105 of his troops. So that's going to actually really significantly help us there. Meanwhile, um, this guy over here, our kinsman, King Gerdautas of Pomerania. We just promoted him to king. He's already proving himself quite well. He's flanking, doing quite well. 584 damage. He's actually really bringing the pain. And the double route through the center, and we're pursuing, and we win. Haha, -ha, you suck. We win. We're better than you. Become our tribute. Let's finish the siege before we leave. I mean, we could get a lot more war score if we chase. Hey, we caught someone. Yeah, let's go get some more war score now. Prisoners. Is he worth anything? Martin. 52 war score. Yeah, Martin Carling's actually worth some more score. I guess we'll keep him around. That was some pretty good fighting. Keep in mind, a big part of the reason why we I think we won that fight is we have 1,800. Or we did, at the time, we had 1,800 very strong heavy infantry from our retinue. It, it wasn't just 10,000 on 10,000 General Levy. It was 1,800. 20% of our army was pure awesome heavy with their bonus modifiers. Awesome advanced tactic. That's pretty cool, except that you're in the pursue phase, so. Shouldn't do that. Nice. Money, 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 money. 145 gold, we'll take it. Martin, we're keeping around. Charles, we will ransom. How much money do you make, Mr. Holy Roman Emperor, man? Not very much right now. But if you ever stabilize your realm, he probably won't. Ah, should have, should have done the other one. Should have flattered and soothed him, but I failed. We actually might be causing him to lose this revolt. And if we do, what is the revolt exactly? It's the civil war to lower crown authority. Good. So if they win, they will lower crown authority. Which directly benefits us, because the next door neighbor will not be doing as well. Inspired defense tactic. That's pretty cool. No money, no levy. Okay, and we are the attacker. Yes, we're the leader of the siege. Good, good. I do want to go back to burning down that city. The 
Yeah, I don't think you want to engage that. We'll balance them out a little bit, just a little bit more defensive. Let's go ahead and get some more... I mean, Castle Town would be nice. I'm just going to keep going with Castle Fortifications. Every place we can. We're out of money already. It would be cool if we had a lot more money. Don't you think? Feel like surrendering yet, Mr. Kaiser? I feel like you should. Yeah, you know, I noticed from playing Crusader Kings 2, and um, I was playing a bunch of Victoria 2 the other day. It seems like a lot of these games you can just stay totally zoomed in the whole time. <laughs> it's just like, this is where everything's happening. There's not much help happening up there. We just, just zoom in and just pay attention right here. Like when I was playing Victoria 2, I noticed that as a great power, you end up spending huge, huge amounts of time just on the diplomacy screen, not actually doing anything. Um, like, you don't even need to look at the map. It's not even relevant. So we should still be able to raid this. Even though it's occupied. We can't take over control from the Holy Roman Revolt, I th think. Oh, actually, no, we are. Okay, very well. Kinswoman, you shall be wed. Just go away. Sviendorog has declared the Peasant Revolt for that gale on us. Okay. I have a feeling that the Lithuanian king will take care of it for us. Let's finish this, uh, uh, it's two more castles. That's dumb. Let's just go do our combat here. We'll unraid, regroup. Got our good commanders in charge, cool. We have a new religious head. We're gonna keep... Oh wait, Gartudas has some money now. We can keep Martin around. Seven on 35 with our retinue involved. I think it's gonna be pretty solid. Let's see if we can find the retinue. Let's see. We are currently on the right. There's our retinue. It's quite a bit of retinue. And we've done inspired defense. We're awesome. Charge tactic. Pretty straightforward. Eighty nine war score. No ticking war score on something like this. We would basically have to occupy like the entirety of his country, I think. Actually, I really don't even know what what would cause would cause you to gain um, ticking war score in a tributary war. I've not done it before. The other thing that we're definitely going to need to get is more um, castle towns. We've got to get our actual direct income up so that just in case we have a, a, troubling, a troubling succession, we will be able to afford our army. It's generally a good idea to do that. Why are we not getting more score? Come on, you've called in more people now, huh? Aquitaine now as well. No, you will become our tributary and you're going to like it. Oh, hey, cool. That is totally an easily sieged down bishopric. I want it. Yeah, see, now we have a budget deficit for a second. Oh, oh my gosh, we, we are really low on retinue. We lost some retinue, apparently. We have a son named Nomedas. Do we have any ransom? Nah. Let me keep him around. I don't care how many times you try to show him to me. Okay, uh, my daughter. We will have probably, I think it was the Polish king. Leader of the Polish revolt. No. Man, look at this. Lithuanian Revolt, Polish Revolt, Polish Revolt. Good lord. Now, King of Poland, take care of my daughter. Be nice to her. She deserves the best. We really need to move our capital. We are sieging slower than they are because my capital is the wrong one. Oh well. Peasant Revolt has uh, ended. Yep, I didn't even have to do it. Lithuanian King took care of it. It's so one thing that's very nice about having strong vassals. I'll praise strong vassals all the time. People are always saying like, "Oh, you gotta have content vassals. You gotta make sure that you don't give them too much power." I'm. I, I almost. I think I always say the same thing. I just. I really like having strong vassals. I'm the exact opposite. I think the vassals are easily managed, and uh, the stronger you make them, the easier it is. 
96 war score. And excellent, we get to work on a town. 8% versus 3.7, it's pretty quick. We are having budget problems. Budgetary concerns. We're not actually raiding, so that's a concern. Uh, we do still have title loss in succession because we can't seem to get people to vote for the right person. We can vote for our daughter. Let's play really King of Poland. See if we can make that happen. I'm tempted to just switch to um, the other one. King Daganus the Usurper has usurped the Kingdom of Poland from Count Karak. Us. So my cousin took over the Kingdom of Poland. I don't care, as long as your house clock us. You guys want to fight over it? It's fine with me. We'll breed them strong. Make them fight. Force them to fight each other. Okay, so, by doing this, we gain 200 prestige, you become a tributary, and we should. Do we not get bonus opinion for tribute wars anymore, now that we are no longer pagan? I would have to say that that's the case. That's a shame. A big part of the reason why I did it was because of that. But, the Holy Roman Empire is now properly re-established, interestingly. So hopefully he makes some more money. And we'll actually get some pretty good income off of him. We certainly have pissed off our vassals a little bit by having them raised for so long during that war. Let's see, how stable is the realm? It's okay. King Dagonis the Usurper is not very happy with us. Seems fine. Um, you are the guy who has land that I want, though. So we definitely need to make him happy. A little bit of money can work. And we'll make him the... Make him the champion. Sure, why not? With your nine martial skill, you are the champion. We are the champions. And apparently we're trying to amass... Um, wealth right now. Take care of my girls for me, please. Mr. Polish King. Cousin. Double entrusted ward, sent gift, champion. He's pretty happy with my prestige, and uh, we should be fine there. Yeah. Very well. Seems to me like it's a uh, good spot for a break. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.